Have you ever talked with a therapist or tried to find one? What's the difference between types of providers and where should I go to find the right provider for me? Hi, I'm Courtney Cuthbertson and I'm an extension specialist with the University of Illinois. In today's Moment for Mental Health, we are going to talk about different types of mental health providers and how to find them. There are many types of mental health providers and it can be hard to know which one might be the right fit for you. The difference in types of mental health providers have to do with their training, credentials, sometimes their treatment options, as well as their perspectives about treatments. Let's talk about a few. So I'm going to talk about four types of mental health providers, psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, and licensed professional counselors. Let's start with psychiatrists. Psychiatrists are medical doctors, meaning they have gone to medical school and they have completed a residency training program in psychiatry. Psychiatrists can diagnose, manage, and treat mental illnesses and can prescribe medications. Psychiatrists may also order medical tests to rule out other health conditions. Psychologists usually have a doctorate degree and focus on evaluating and treating mental health issues through talk therapies primarily. In some states, including Illinois, if psychologists go through additional training, they might be able to prescribe medications. Psychologists may focus more on cognitive processes and behaviors. Licensed clinical social workers, or LCSWs, have at least a master's degree and may focus on emotional, behavioral, social, or psychological challenges that impact people. Social workers might also assist in finding additional resources. Licensed professional counsel counselors, or LPCs, also have a master's degree, and treatments focus on identifying goals and solutions, improving coping skills, and sometimes encouraging behavior change that supports mental well-being. You might see some folks with the title Licensed Clinical Professional Counselors, or LCPCs, which means that they might also play a role in supervising, in research, or in training others to be counselors. Any mental health provider may have certain areas that they specialize in. For instance, they might specialize in depression or anxiety or trauma, or in working with adults, or maybe in working with children. All of the types of providers that I've discussed today can diagnose and treat mental health issues, though the types of treatments that are available will differ. Many mental health providers work together in teams with other specialists, and all of the types of mental health providers described here are required to be licensed in the state of Illinois. There are several resources online that can help you to find a therapist. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, or SAMHSA for short, has a treatment locator that can be found online at findtreatment.samhsa.gov findtreatment.samhsa.gov and this can also be reached over the phone at 1-800-662-HELP that is 1-800-662-4357. An additional resource is the website Psychology Today. They have a find a therapist search that will ask for your location and you can enter your state, your county, your city or town, or even your zip code and it will list options of providers in your area, including ones that offer teletherapy services that can be accessed online. The nice thing about the search through Psychology Today is that you can filter the results to be more specific. For example, you could filter the results based on your insurance, uh, what kind of issues you might like to talk about, or what kind of therapy you're interested in. You may also be able to access your insurance website to find out which providers are in network. If you don't have insurance, some providers will list other options on their websites. When you first meet with a therapist, you can ask them questions about their history as a mental health provider, as well as what kind of treatment options they offer. You could ask them what experience they have working with people from your community, whether that means a rural or maybe an urban community, the agricultural community, or something else. Please keep in mind that you are the best person to figure out whether that mental health provider is the right fit for you. And you might find that the first person you meet with doesn't feel like the right fit, and that's okay. It does not mean there's anything wrong with you. You can try again with a different provider. Think about it this way. 
if we went to see a doctor for a physical health issue and we didn't like or understand the first doctor's treatment plan or perspective or bedside manner, we would seek out a different doctor to help us to deal with the physical health issue. We can do the same thing when it comes to mental health care. And keep in mind, you don't have to wait for a problem of difficulty or crisis to start looking for and meeting with a therapist. Take a look at one of the resources discussed today and see if there's someone who might be a good fit for you. If you're already seeing a therapist, what advice would you have for someone who's trying to start therapy? I hope you join us next time for another moment for mental health.